today we'll see about tb and hiv so a person or a people living in people living with hiv the chance of tb is higher tb is one of the most common opportunistic infection among the people living with hiv and the chance of an hiv infected person to get tb is eight times higher than a hiv negative person and you know in hiv positive people we will start the art that is antiretroviral therapy so even though we start an antiretroviral therapy the people on antiretroviral therapy are still higher uh, have a still higher chance of getting the hiv infect uh, the tb infection than an hiv negative person and a tb cured hiv person still has a chance of recurrent tb so all these all these gives you a sound explanation why you should study the tb and hiv coordination and why there should be a tb and hiv coordination at the programmatic level also now what are the difficulties that are faced in the diagnosis of tb among the hiv patient now you know in hiv there is immunosuppression and because of this immunosuppression because of this immunosuppression what happens is uh, the clinical presentation will be more of like an extra pulmonary or a smear negative tb so this poses a diagnostic dilemma so there will be missed diagnoses there will be delay in diagnosis and hence a higher morbidity and mortality due to tb in hiv patient so that's the problem because of the immunosuppression it will be more of extra pulmonary or smear negative presentation we won't get the typical presentation now hiv testing for tb patients or presentative cases so there is a process so so in a presumptive case or a diagnosed tb case in a presumptive or diagnosed tb case what we will do we will refer them to a stand alone ictc so stand alone uh, testing and counseling and testing center integrated counseling and testing center so this is the healthcare worker is asking to go there and test and the client or the patient who is having the diagnosed tb right this is uh, hiv testing in the tb patients i am talking about hiv testing in a tb patient right so in a tb patient i am talking about hiv testing right so uh, and this tb patient can deny the or they have the right to refuse but we would educate them counsel them about the benefits of testing and all right and here the counseling is done there will be a counselor and uh, the counseling will be done testing will be done so in many facilities in many areas uh, nearby they won't be uh, a stand alone ictc so in that case you would refer them to a facility based or facility integrated ictc and in such cases uh, in a FICTC facility based ICTC whole blood finger prick test is done whole blood finger prick test kits are available there in FICTC actually in a already present health facility lab facility the lab uh, technicians and the staff there are trained to conduct HIV testing also so uh, the whole blood finger prick test kits are available and the result is available within 30 minutes and if the result is negative okay they will be given the report of negative and they should go back to their clinician and if it is reactive uh, then the report of reactive is not given and they are referred to the saictc okay at the near wherever it is available they are referred to the sic uh, that is standalone ictc and at the standalone ictc again they are counseled and tested 
and here if it is negative it's negative if it's positive then they are referred to the nearby art center they are registered and all the paperwork is done and they are referred to the art center that is the andro retro anti retroviral therapy center for the treatment and follow up so this is what you do in a tb patient for the diagnosis of hiv now let us look into the implementation of collaborative tb hiv activity so all these things that have been mentioned is again going to be mentioned so intensified tb case finding intensified tb case finding have been implemented nationwide in all the icpcs and the art centers so intensified send, uh, case finding nationwide in all the icpcs and the art centers tb hiv testing of tb patient is now a routine through provider initiated testing and counseling so i said a tb patient come so hiv testing of tb patient is now a routine thing to through provider initiated testing and counseling implemented in all states with intensified tb hiv package and intensified case finding activities to be specifically monitored among hiv infected pregnant women and cl hiv so intensified case finding is done so intens we'll talk about intensified case finding later that is one of the main activities uh, that is done for tb screening among hiv patients so in hiv patients we will do tb screening through intensified case finding in tb patient there is provider initiated testing and counseling in tb patients there is provided for hiv testing so we are going both ways right so intensified tb case finding among hiv patient and uh, pitc among tb patients free hiv care at art centers are given as there are a lot of art centers as of 2017 there is 536 art centers and 1120 link art centers available so all uh, in art centers free hiv care is given policy decision has been taken by national technical working group on hiv tb collaborative activities to expand coverage of whole blood finger prick hiv screening test at all designated microscopy center without a stand alone or fictc so i said at fictc this is done even if fictc is not available then uh, the working group that is the national technical working group has taken the decision to do whole blood finger prick test at all the designated microscopic centers also so that is also a, another thing now provider initiated uh, testing and counseling among presumptive tb cases is now a policy so that will be done and adoption of isoniazid preventive therapy or oh, sorry prophylactic yeah, prophylactic and preventive therapy as a strategy for the prevention of tb in hiv people living with hiv about this also we will see and the ntps prioritize the presumptive tb cases among the people living with hiv for diagnosis of tb and rifampicin resistance with rapid diagnostic test having high sensitivity so rapid diagnostic test for for example cbnet is used among the plhiv for the tb diagnosis right in the diagnostic algorithm we will see the plhiv patients are directly given the provision of cbnet for the diagnosis of the tb now if you talk about the screening 
of TB among HIV patients. So this is uh, in HIV patients. This provider initiated uh, testing and counseling was for TB patients. Now an HIV patient comes to you. We will do intensified case finding. So intensified case finding is done at the ICTCs at the ARTs, at the community support centers, in the prisons, wherever we feel that, yes, there is chance of high HIV and TB. So, in a, among HIV patients, right? Now, a four symptom complex is there. For adults also, some symptoms are there. For children also, some symptoms are there. So, four symptoms are there now this is the intensified case finding activity in adults and adolescents that is like more than 10 years we would say adolescent till 19 then adults right screen with these four symptoms so these are the four symptoms that is cough fever weight loss night sweats if it is present, then we would investigate for TB. If it is not TB, we would give isoniazid prophylactic therapy. If it's TB, then you would treat. Or if uh, if there is any, we will also check for other diagnosis, other pneumonia related things, right? If it is, if they have no symptoms, then also we would Check for contraindications for IPT, acid prophylactic therapy. If it is there, we won't be able to give. Otherwise, we will give. And screen for TB regularly at each encounter with the health facility or health worker. Similarly, till 10 years, right? Greater than 12 months till 10 years, we have certain. So current cuff is there, fever is there weight loss needn't be there in small children there should be weight gain so if there is a poor weight gain also then it is suspected contact history with the tb case so fever and current cough is there weight related it's poor weight gain and contact history with the tb case if it is yes same thing you look for any uh, if it's TB, we'll treat it. If it's not TB, you look for other diagnosis. You would consider IPT. If 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 there is no symptoms, if there is no symptoms, you would consider IPT. And if there is contraindications, we can't give. If there is no contraindication, we would give IPT for about six months. And no, in children. Some additional things are there. We'll talk about that later. Screen regularly for TB. You know, all cases.